Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Skinner Fox. Come back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Version. Let's get back into things here. We are exactly at 5 hours and 18 minutes here. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got going on with our Pokemon today. It looks like Nido King is just about to kick the bucket here. So, what we're going to do, I think there's actually an item here. And yes, there's a max. Max Ether, Ether. I never really did know what that was. I think it's Ether, but what we need to go ahead and do is try and get to the next city, which this looks like the start of Lavender Town right here. Uh, we're going to skip those two trainers, obviously, because our Pokemon are weak. And the most annoying soundtrack known to man here. Like, if you know Pokemon and you have been into it for a while, you know the Lavender Town theme song. It is horrible horrible and just grating on your ears. I hated this when I was a kid. It was like one of the most just like absolutely terrible, terrible um, like just sounds to listen to as like a kid. It was just like I ended up like back in the day having to turn down my uh, um, Game Boy like volumes because I didn't really feel like listening to it. It wasn't necessarily it was scary as much as it was just really awful. And obviously, like, when it comes to the actual Pokemon, like, lore to the original games, there's a lot of, there's a lot that goes into this particular, um, city, but a lot of different things, just, it, it's a lot with Lavender Town, you just, if you want to go back and look up, like, some different things on Lavender Town and some scary stuff that people had come up with, like, you can go back and look at, um, a lot, like, several different people's videos like I don't know them off the top of my head or you can even go back and look at the um that Pokemon anime that they came out with not the original anime but the one where you're talking about just the original games I think it was like Pokemon Origins or something like that and I can't remember if it was like episode 2 or 3 where they talked about uh where they went to Lavender Town but it was um it was definitely cool um it kind of like went over a lot of stuff my dog's just running around you need to stop Leo <laughs> He's just being ornery right now. And I missed my first attack. That's way to start an episode right there. Leo, what's going on, buddy? Is there something the matter with you? Oh, what's going on, buddy? I got critted. Wow. And this Firo is causing me a lot of... Oh, my lord. Jeez, Firo. I... Is it really going to KO me? Wow. One Fury, Fury attack. Oh, my lord. I'm actually going to have to have to switch out here. Wow, that's awful. What's the matter, Leo? You want to come sit in my lap while we while I'm recording? Come here, buddy. So my dog is going to be sitting in my lap for the duration of this video, probably. He's uh big chilling right now. I don't know necessarily if he likes like anything <laughs> I'm like doing right now. I don't know if he likes my my monitor or something like that. He's just staring at him like, what in the heck are these? <laughs> he is something else. Anyway. Yeah, that was, this is a bad first, um, encounter here, getting, like, the Charmeleon all, like, pretty much automatically, like, just wiped right there. Um, it's not a huge deal, though. We can pretty much just get through this with Nido King. I don't think we're gonna have any troubles for the most part here. Yeah, he's gonna pretty much one-shot everything. That is actually really, really strong. I, I forgot how strong a thing was, like, for, like, something that's not necessarily strong against it. Like, those Fury attacks were, like, I think, like, it critted, like, every single one. Because I think if it crits the first time, it crits on all of them. So that was always, like, real interesting. Oop, and Leo is falling here. Hello, buddy. Leo, you're, you're, you're sitting on my lap, buddy. It's okay. Hey, what's going on? Anyway, so let's go on to the next one. Sand Shrew, I'm actually going to switch out to Ivysaur for this one. Mainly because, um, not really necessarily because Ivysaur is much stronger than it. Like, strong against it. But also because, like, my Nidoking King's been thrashing about three. I think it's his third thrash, that last one. So, about five. I think about five he gets confused. And I don't want to get unlucky and it'd be like four this time around. So, we're just going to go ahead and switch out here. And just go ahead and take the advantage here. Eevee still hasn't evolved yet. So, I'm... Um, Actually, not really all that worried about it yet. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably gonna go into a, yeah, I guess maybe a Jolteon because, yeah, I mean that's the only thing I can think of is it going into a Jolteon first. Let's go into Poison Powder here. Growl is actually really good here, and we're also going to uh, throw out a Leech Seed like next um, next uh, turn here. Now this is like a really good like 
Um, if you, like Ivysaur gets bulky or something like that, it's a really good strat to go ahead and run this. But as far as like actual like what uh, what's going on, I think Leo is actually on my keyboard right now. All right, to the bed you go, my dog. Yeah, he didn't last very long here. Anyway, so let's go ahead. Um, Vine Whip should pretty much bring him down to about a fourth, which it did. Um, poison Powder will take it down a little bit, and then um, Leech Seed should get me back up to about 35 or 36. I don't think Leech Seed's actually all that strong. Oh, wow, it actually did four. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. it. That was more than I was giving it credit for, by, like, for sure. Leo, don't be too depressed, buddy. It's just a game. I'm going to be done here in a minute. <laughs> by a minute, I'd probably be another 15 minutes, so he'll probably be asleep on my bed by the time I finish this video. He's just kind of pouting right now, but it'll be okay. I'm going to go and hang out with him here in a minute. Uh, This is like the Marowak thing. The rival always knew how to just annoy the crap out of me whenever I was playing this back as a kid. Um, I am not really going to focus at all on like the trainer battles. Like I'll have, of course have to go through like a few of them, but like for the most part I really don't even care to fight any of them. Now if I'm not mistaken, yeah, because um I don't have like something. I don't I, I can't actually like see these pokemon here, so um if I the thing about it is I don't think you actually get a Gengar unless you like do some like trading shenanigans in first gen so like as far as like actually be able to do anything um i don't really even have any interest in actually like uh capturing any ghost types either um haunter's okay but it's like like if you don't get a gengar you're missing out on most of the potential like straight up so let's go ahead and just get this guy out the way if charmeleon goes down he just goes down okay wow fire text did absolutely nothing against him wow okay Let's go ahead and just bring out Nidoking. I was thinking about, like, yeah, you know what, let me just go ahead and try to get him out the way, but, you know what, it's like, meh. I'll get, I might get a level by the end of the, um, by the end of, um, the tower, so. I'm not too worried about it right now. Char uh, Charmeleon probably gets about level 30 by the time we get to Celadon, so, and that's really all I'm, like, looking at right now, anyway. Alright, there we go. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about if you're wondering why I'm being quiet right now. There's just really not a whole lot to talk about with this particular, um, at this point right now in the game. Like, it's just kind of like, you know, slow. Um, the thing with ghost types is that they take a little bit to get down, which is, um, uh, to knock out, which is kind of annoying, because obviously you have to go through all this crap, and you don't feel like having to deal with it. Um, the tower is like one of those things in the game where it was just stupid, like, uh, pointless, I felt like. There's just no real reasoning to have it. Okay... Now, I want to test something out. It says I don't have any more room. Is that just because I don't have any more? Yes, because there's no more visible slots. Not necessarily that there's, like, actual slots right here, but more or less because there's no more actual slots. So that's, that's cool. I understand that now. Uh... Yeah, we don't really need the escape rope, so um, I'm just going to go through ahead and throw it away and see what they got here. Elixir's, like, absolutely nothing here. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I uh, probably should use Thunderbolt there, but whatever. Awakening is for obviously sleeping, so. I keep doing that. I keep. I don't really don't need Awakening at all. Like, Awakening's pretty crap for the most part. It's not like a good item at all. HP up's pretty good, so let's go ahead and actually use that. Yeah, we can use it on um, Nidoking. I was thinking about Charmeleon, but nah, Nidoking is the bulkier of the two. We'll just go ahead and use that. 
I actually probably could have got away from this particular trainer right here. I didn't think about it at all, but oh well. It, it is what it is. It's fine. Not a big deal at all. I'll go ahead and immediately swap out. I'm just not going to worry about it too much. Alright, I had a sneeze there, so... Sorry if you heard all that, but yeah. Try to uh, move my mic away from my mouth so I can actually do it. Hopefully won't have to again, but I think I'm probably going to have to. And there it went. Yep. Hopefully... Uh, I always say, hopefully I don't have to sneeze anymore, but I know I always have to sneeze like at least two or three times, it feels like. I don't really know very many times where I sneeze one time and that's just it. It's it's a much more rare thing than what you probably think. Maybe other people, may, maybe you may know it as well, maybe you may uh, experience that as well, like sneezing is not just a one-time thing, it's usually like a several times in a row. And if anybody knows why, please tell me, because I have no idea why that is the way it is. Okay, um, obviously can't do anything about the ghost, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I feel like the shade of this ghost is a little bit different than the previous one. Cool. Okay, Pokemon are healed up, so that's good, I guess. See, yeah, there's a purple one compared to, um, a brown one earlier, so... One may be the actual Marowak that you can get, and one might actually be the uh, the Gastly's. That's actually fine, because I actually have a few Nuggets anyway, so I can actually just go ahead and just use that. I think like, these are Gastly's, and the other one's the Marowak. That's fine, though. I mean, I, I already got them. I mean, I already encountered the Marowak, so I'm not, I know it's there, but I'm just not too worried about it either. Yep, I see there it is again. I think that one's that. Like I said, I think that's the Marowak right there, so I'm not too worried about it too much. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping I can go down, but I think it's just an item down there, so. Give me blood. That's really weird. Um. For but yeah, that 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 little encounter with that guy, like right here, where that guy said that I was like, what, what? <laughs> now let's see if I can actually get a win with Charmeleon up here against these Gastlys. It's not looking too good, but we might, we'll might, we'll try anyway, you know. Nah, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. Not with that initial nightshade where it took down about a fifth of my HP right there. I'm not gonna sit there and chance it where I'm not even gonna get the win out of him, so I might as well just throw out the Nido King in right here and just sweep through them all. I just wanna get out of Lavender Town. I, I just despise this place, so it's just I, I it's not fun to play it's not fun. this part of the game to me is just not fun. Like the next like two or three gym battles are really, really annoying. Like I enjoy the first part of Pokemon Yellow and it feels like the next couple gym battles are just like I don't know. It, it's like I understand they tried to to do something with it, but it feels like from the end of Vermilion to the Elite Four, like, everything in between is just kind of meh, you know what I'm saying? It's just not very much to it, and that's how I always felt about the game, like, I just feel like there's not much substance in between, like, there's a lot of stuff in it, but none of it's, like, really grab your attention fun, you know what I mean? And that's what I missed, that's what the one thing I just kind of, like, liked about, um, Gen 2 and Gen 3. I mean, I love Gen 1, don't get me wrong, and to me it's like my favorite because that's the most nostalgic for me, but Gen 2 and Gen 3 definitely felt like there was more to the game in the middle stages rather than the first stage. It looks like you just, you couldn't do anything. Like, I mean, not that you couldn't do anything, it just felt like you couldn't, I don't know. It seemed like the game was really long in the middle, and it felt like there's a lot of gym battles that were really tough and were not really all that fun. Where Brock, Misty, um, and Lieutenant Surge are, to me are fun battles, but the rest of them are just kind of like meh. X accuracy, okay. Well, we're not running the strat this time around, so. Plus, also this part right here. Okay, 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 whatever. That was really weird. Again, like they have some of these weird dialogues here, so. Anyway. 
So we're just gonna try and get through this um, this tower. Like that's what we're gonna be spending the episode on. We're gonna try to spend the episode on trying to get through the Pokemon, like through this tower right here. So um, and then after this, I think is Celadon. I think Celadon's directly to the um, on screen like west position to the left. Um, as soon as you leave out of here, if you go straight left, I think, like, you take, like, a pretty long route to Celadon, which, again, it's kind of weird, I don't know why, like, um, the route in itself is so long, but whatever. It might be a short route, for all I know. I just want to say there's a pretty lengthy route in between Lavender Town and Celadon, so... Nano King's getting a lot of XP from this tower. I was expecting to use um, Charmeleon more than I I was. I mean, like I have been, but you know, it's just it feels like he's just not strong enough to actually be able to even fight these type of Pokemon, which is really annoying. But it is what it is. Hmm. Man. Again, what what are these dialogues? <laughs> I guess the level 24, level 25, 24. Leo, what's the matter, buddy? Is there something that you want? He jumped off my bed and now he's standing at my feet again. <laughs> Do you want to? Okay, I'm going to let him out my room real quick. He might want to just go run around somewhere. Go ahead. I, I honestly don't know what he wants, but well, well I'll go full with him here in a second. <sighs> kind of hang out with him a little bit. I mean, I only spent all day with the dog, but hey, you know, it's an animal. They don't, their attention spans and like uh, memory capacity, I don't think is necessarily the highest. Um, you might be able to correct me with that. I don't really know exactly what species or what animals actually have long, um, large attention spans and have like kind of in-depth memories for the most part. I don't know. Uh, what dogs really have, but yeah, I, I would fair to say that he, his is probably not very high up there by the way he acts, so uh, maybe that's just a mistake on my part. Maybe I don't really know, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and th throw out, let's toss the, uh, the X accuracy. Rare candy, I'll be darned, okay. Alrighty, this is, um... So, was I supposed to get, like, the Pokey Flute before I came in here? So, that's pretty annoying, actually. Huh. So this must be like an automatic spawn for the Marowak right here, so man, that's a little annoying. Uh, so what we might do, I think I know what I'm going to do here. And of course I don't have that escape rope anymore, which is a little annoying, but um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out of the uh, the tower here. Ah oh, man, okay. So, I think I made a mistake where I should have went and got the Pokey Flute first, which is kind of uh, bad on my part. I should have remembered that, but I didn't, so whatever. I mean, I can't do anything about it now. Let's go ahead and let's get on out of here. Alright, so what I may end up doing is I may end up just going and getting the Pokey Flute first, and then coming back up in here after I get like some, uh, some repels or something like that, and then just try to get through the to the tower because obviously the tower is just kind of annoying for the most part I don't feel like having to go through all these encounters where I can't even fight them so so let's go ahead and let's uh, get out of here and like I said if you don't know much about like the lore um, of the game maybe not even the lore just like what actually happens at this part of the game so what ends up happening like I said that's a Marowak right there and yeah dog it I actually ran into another person I haven't fought yet but that's okay I mean I'm gonna have to come through here anyway so might well might as well 
um, go ahead and get this person out of the way. Anyway, so what happened in the original game, which we're playing right now, is Marowak, um, that, for whatever reason, like, they don't talk about Pokemon dying, like, in any other game for the most part. It's pretty much just this one that they ever mention it, and it's pretty, uh, kind of, like, I'm not gonna say dark, because it's, like, for something to be dark, like, something that has to be really bad, and, like, Pokemon games are generally not dark. Like, usually, usually not a whole lot of scary, scary things in Pokemon. But anyway, like, for Gen 1, this is, I mean, like, for Pokemon game, this is pretty bad. But anyway, so the Marowak dies, I think a trainer beat it to death, is what, like, it ended up happening. And you might, I think you have to, like, talk to people to find out about this. I, I want to say that's what ended up happening. Or, maybe, t I know, I think Team Rocket killed it. And if you go to, like, the Pokemon guy at, towards, I think, the southern part of Lavender Town, and go talk to him in there, they have a Cubone, and the Marowak is its mother... And it ended up dying to, I think, Team Rocket, and then that's why it's, and it guards, like, the Pokemon Tower for what, I mean, for whatever reason, I'm not, I'm not, or I, that's not really, I don't think it's called Pokemon Tower, it just guards this tower, and that's pretty much what happened. Um, so that's the story, and that's kind of what I think happened here. He said, you have to go talk to some people and they can tell you what happened, but that's what my understanding of the story is. I may be wrong, I might have missed a thing or two here or there, but for the most part, that's what my understanding of it is, so that is what it is. Uh, it usually doesn't get much worse than that in Pokemon, though. That's that's pretty bad for the most part. And this whole tower is pretty much dedicated to people burying their Pokemon here, so that's kind of what it all comes down to for the most part. Um, so let's go through here and let's try and get sell these nuggets for one. We have a ton of nuggets. We have a lot of gold as well. So I mean, I, I don't know why I called it gold, but we have a lot of money as well. So we're gonna sell the nuggets here. Um, let's see what we actually have as far as pokeballs. Um, let's go ahead and let's stock up on about five of these. This ought to do for now. I mean, we don't really need a whole whole bunch of them, but we need enough to kind of get the kind of get things going here. So let's go ahead and let's try to talk to some people here and see if we can't get the Poke Flute from someone. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. I'm not worried about the name raider here. Okay, so maybe the Poke Flute's not actually in this town. It's the only thing I can think of. I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother, blah, blah, blah. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Let me see. Cubone. Okay, so there it is. That's what it is. And it's a girl, apparently. In, like, the, in the little anime thing, it's an actual guy, so... Maybe the guy's somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, that's Mr. Fuji. And that's the guy. And Mr. Fuji, I think, is in the top of the tower, actually. Okay. Okay, so I'm not worried about all that. So apparently you can't actually get it in the town. And I'll probably have to actually go and look it up. So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a like in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. It means a great deal. And again, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.